Testing. Okay there, guys, uh, this is Tenacious Earl, and this is Corn to Born. Uh, I have to admit that I have not played a whole lot of action PC golf in the last couple of weeks since the last tournament. I've just been really honing in on <clears throat> Stratomatic Baseball and all that good stuff, so... Um, you know, been playing a lot of that, and I'm going to play a tournament in uh, uh, History Maker Golf offline because it's in my under tour. Basically, what is the Corn Ferry Tour now? It's what I'm doing. It's just it's got a little different name. But what I'm going to do here is I'm this tur this project was all all about. I want to take guys who are coming up from last year's Corn Ferry Tour, what used to be called the Nike Tour back in the day, and instead, you know, be able to um, see if we can get them to success. <laughs> so uh, our our golfer today is going to be Ryan Brain. I believe that's how you'll say we'll say his name, Brain. Uh, he was a guy who was promoted from the Corn Ferry Tour last year. And so we're going to be playing at Torrey Pines in the San Diego Open. We're going to play all four rounds. Um, we're going to play two of the rounds, at least, with Ryan Brame and try and lead him through what is a usually a tough Torrey Pines south course. And... Uh, Need to check something here. There. Okay. That's what I needed to do before I forgot how to sw switch it over. So here I am. Sorry, you got to look at me, but hey. Could be worse. <laughs> I don't know how, but <laughs> it could be worse. All right. So we're, we haven't, I haven't started this. Uh, we need to um, right-click here and go play event. And we got to go and find our guy here, Ryan Brain. So he may be in the second half of this. Let's see. Hey, Ryan. Where are you, Ryan? Ryan? We'll find you eventually. I know he is in the. Um, he was in the field. I picked him. Oh, there he is. He's right here. All right. So we're gonna. Oh, do that right at the moment. So let's double click a golfer. All right, well, I'm going to highlight him here. So let's just go ahead and tee off. Rough is going to be tour rough. It's going to be uh, a little, little bit firm, a little bit speedy. Not too bad. So let's go and tee off. And let's see if it lets me. Oh, yeah, and I, just a second here, guys. I need to do, uh oh This is going to keep being a real problem, so let me go do this for just a second, and I will, uh, just a second here. I've got to bring up something that I can put in the back that will kind of help <laughs> cushion that because it looks really bad if I when I go between stuff. So, all right, let's do this now. I think. Yes. There we go. All right. So I think you guys are good now. And hopefully we come up here without a problem. Okay, so groups. 
I need to come down through here and find our group. I should have noticed what the time was, but he, I know he's in the left-hand column. Somewhere in here. At least he was before. Brain. Where are you, Brain? Did he get moved? Alright, I'm gonna have to do it the hard way here. So they must they must transpose here to the other column then, right? There he is. We're gonna set him to human control and we're gonna watch Tom Lewis, we're gonna watch Grace and Murray. So we're going to follow this group around 1040. Let's go. Let's uh, play around. Till we get to our guys. So we'll see how this leaderboard stacks up and generates. And uh, so Hadwin in the lead early. The Canadian Hendrick Stenson joins him now as we start to get through here. We need to get to the 10-10. We're currently at 8.20, so we got a couple of hours of sim time. While I'm doing that, I'm going to grab one of my favorite uh, beverages. Good to see you. I hope you have been enjoying the strat that I've been putting on. Um, been trying to play a bunch of that lately, and um, been having fun. I'm still have the cards off to the side but you know I've, I've got to keep going with other things too so 9 10 now or about an hour out of our group almost an hour and a half so yes sir bob we're gonna play some action pc golf again i haven't played this in a couple of weeks <clears throat> probably should take a look at Brames, um, well, we'll look at his qualities when we get there. Okay, glad to hear it, Manny. Appreciate, appreciate you kind of like, uh, I would say you were a, an impetus towards me getting that back out again. I, I kind of wanted to myself as well, especially after I got done with soccer, um, you know, it had been a long time, and sometimes you just kind of need to, uh, you need a little extra motivation, and it's kind of nice to have, you know, I don't do that for just everybody, but there are definitely times when, uh, you know, the stars align, so to speak, and it's time to uh, move on in, in back into something that you haven't done in a while, and so I'm, I'm glad that I'm sort of like in that final third using a soccer term of that project and we're going to keep going with it i want to i want to wrap it up so i can maybe try a different baseball game with a similar project or you know maybe maybe a little different spin on it we'll see okay i think we are ready to go grace and murray teeing off first here at the first a little left to right jogger and let's see okay we do have sound okay he had a good Pretty good shot. Cut the corner off here a little bit. Lewis is going right. Okay, so let's take a look at Mr. Ryan Brain. So we're gonna look at his attributes. You see here, he's not so he's he's a long hitter, but nothing else is really that that stellar. So we're gonna have to just deal, right? All right. So uh, we got the driver. He carries 299, and this is a 435 hole. So, if we figure it's going to go about, well, it's into the wind too. So, we figure it's going to go about maybe 305. That's going to give it, leave us 130. So, and um, that's going to kind of put us between the 56 and the pitching wedge. Although, it wouldn't be too bad with the pitching wedge. So let's just go ahead and deal with that. We're going to aim a little to the left because of the wind. We're going to keep it 
under the 299, and let's give it a whirl. Here we go. Ryan Brame, first hole. San Diego Open, Torrey Pines, south course. And this is a bomb right down the middle, just a little to the right of center. Great start for him. Pretty decent angle into the pin. Here comes Murray playing up front of the green. Front left, middle left, not too bad. Two putt territory, here's Lewis coming over the bunker and he's gonna get over it. It's a great shot there. Within, uh, I'd say 12 feet probably, 9.2. All right, so now it's Brain, 127 yards, so we're right at it. A Little bit downhill, that's gonna help us. Um, let's see, it looks like our lie is pretty good. We don't have any kind of side hill, but so we, we do want to aim towards the center of the green and let the wind play its part in this shot. I'm not going to put any spin on it. I think the spin will work on its own, especially with the wind being slightly in our face. Wind's not doing quite as much as we had hoped. He must have missed it a little left and just the right amount of spin for that. So uh, let's see, L little miss left. So here comes Murray's birdie. Trickles just short and a little right, kind of a lag. So let's see. Let's just putt it. I'm not going to lag it. Not Don't get much. Um, it's on its way. Oh boy, he hits it well by. That is a little aggressive for what he wanted to do there. So not great. And a birdie, Tom Lewis. A good start for him. And it is a downhill putt. We're going to just go normal. And he does make it for par. So decent save there. Not a great first putt. Grayson Murray lips out. So not such a great deal for him there. And he goes to plus one. All right. Through the first hole. <clears throat> All right. We have to hit play round again. It would be nice if it would just keep simming, but doesn't, so it's okay. Here we go. Tom Lewis with the birdie, and he's going to lay up, looks like with a shorter club there. I didn't see what he was using. Five wood, went 250. That may be a good choice for us. We may need to go with an iron. Let's see. Into the wind. Let's stick with the five wood into the wind. Um, does it say? So he tends to miss to the left. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got to take that into account here. Let's not overhit it. And let's give it a whirl here. Swing. Okay. It's going to be right in this almost the same spot as Lewis. Good angle. Yeah, it could have been could be better. I think you'd want to try and leave it right center with where the pin's at, but as I said, I haven't played this too much and Grayson Murray cuts off the bunker, goes right over it, and but he's going to have a tougher shot maybe. He's going to probably need some kind of a half wedge. Put it close. So here's Lewis taking dead aim. Is it going to get up the hill? Oh, no. It's going to spin back down and roll to the frontier. So not... we got to, now we got to use that to our advantage. We need to make sure that we carry this past the ridge. So it's into the wind <coughs> about eight miles an hour. So we're going to need, and it is uphill as well, so we're going to need like 150 yards at least to get there. What do I, what percent do I control versus the AI in this? Good question. I mean, it's, I would say it is all based on 
some level of rolling, I think it's not, it's not all, you know, you, you can only tell it where to go, just like the golfer. So, I mean, basically we're, we're playing the golfer. The golfer sits there. He says, this is what I want to do. He swings. I'll tell you what, when I go and I swing, it doesn't always do exactly. Go watch. So the PGA Tour is back on. You can check it out. Put it on in the background here or whatever. But it's great. No crowds, though. So that's kind of a it's kind of a down side to it. But let's go with. So we have this uphill lie. That's going to make it sky a little more. That, that might be part of the reason that Lewis came up short. So I'm going to go with a little bit more of a club here. I'm going to go with a high trajectory, which is going to hopefully mean it cu gets caught up in the wind a little bit more, but we just want it to be right on line. Now, he misses a little left, so let's let's plan on just a little right of the hole, and let's see how this works out. And also, he is going to, you know, let's go straight at it because this, this stance is just a little bit of a right. It'll make it want to go to the right. So let's see. Go long enough. Come on, get back there. Okay, that's good. Right tier, right. Um, good pin high shot and good chance for birdie. And they, Murray finds the ridge and goes back. So, hi Clinton. Yeah, I I know you've told me about doing that, and I'm. Uh, I still like this approach to it. Oh boy, I thought he made that. I thought that was gonna break. Murray with a long putt. He's giving it a run. It's online, but he's just gonna gonna die at the end. Not, guess not the right line. So let's see. Got a twenty. Let's let's go aggressive here. See if we can make this. Come on, get it in the hole. Ah, and he just a little too strong. We will putt it. There's a par. So if he. Yeah, so if he uses the uh, swing meter, it will, you kind of have, I assume you have full control over it, although I don't know that for a fact. That's a great question. If there's still some level of PC magic in the background that kind of simulates golfers' abilities, you know, does it change the speed? You know, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I like playing this version forces me to make the strategic decisions. Sometimes the strategy works really well. Other times it craps the bed and <laughs> he's going to get there. Good shot. So here on this hole, see, so here's your strategy. What What's the strategy here? I'd say you don't want to, you probably don't want to be in this bunker, although, you know, it's an uphill bunker shot. Even though it's short-sighted, you're probably probably going to be able to get it decently close. What you would want to do is you want to do what those other guys did on the previous hole. And you see, there's a ridge here. Let's see if we can uh, look at this green, hit this ridge, use this as a backstop. So that's kind of what we want to do, but we're, what are we at? What's our yardage? 192. So it's a long hole. It is downhill. So we're going to, we're going to guess 180. So, but then there's 10 miles an hour of wind, 12 mile an hour wind. So let's say 190 something here to the pin. Um, so I'm still going to say that I'm going to say that the, the downhill, the, the change in elevation and the wind are going to cancel each other out to an extent. I want it to go about 200 and my, my club is 200. So I think, I think we're going to be okay here. So again, it's like, okay, we know he's going to miss left. Probably that's his general miss. The wind is a little from the left. So let's, let's keep it within the realm of stuff and let's ha hopefully have him make a good shot where we are. If we wanted to try and eliminate the bunker, we could, we could set him over here. This is a softer green too. So that's going to help us. We just don't want to come up short. Get up. Okay. Never, never came left. So, but that's fine. On, I'm basically the caddy for a pro. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> excuse me. If you want to think of it like a caddy, I mean, you're just, 
I guess so. Um, you're you're playing. You're you're basically, I guess, teaching him how you think he would play the best, right? I guess that's it. Um, slightly uphill. Let's go aggressive. Get in there. Ah, it just goes by. Now there's gonna be a downhill trickler coming back. Got to hope we don't uh, burn. Get burned. Oh, he rolled another one. two birdies out of three for Tom Lewis. All right, and we sneak it in for par, so we don't pay the price. Grayson is <laughs> leaking oil at this point. So what are we? We are forty fifth. Want to want to hopefully be under par for this first round. Don't want to have to be like we were with Vince Whaley, which was coming from behind. <laughs> Clinton Parks has his own guy drilled into Action PC. But I just think this is a nice, relaxing way to do it. And. Okay, well, guess what? We've got we got got to let the big dog eat here. Now, again, we're gonna kind of uh, he's gonna leak it right. Get over the bunker. Yeah, we're in the rough. So he tends to miss left, but not this time. And the wind was pushing him over there too. Ah, well, that's a bad miss. Look out, bunker. Okay, Grayson is. Going to struggle to make the cut here, guys. Well, he took his... He took a healthy hack with that wood. But he's going to be just on this side of the trees. Now you got Lewis from the fairway. He's going to find the bunker. Nope, he gets over it, but... He's going to need a chip and a putt here. Now, we're coming from a three-quarter lie. Not... Not the way you draw it up. And we got the wind behind us, so we probably want to avoid whatever is back here. That's hazard. I think we'd want to be front of the green at least. So we we don't want to go we don't want to go 170. We want to go 160. It is up the hill to the pin, but and I think we want it to we want to go 160. So we want to try and keep it like one 50-ish. Let's let's use the seven iron here and see how this works out. And let's let the wind take it back into the center of the green. We also have that little hill there to backstop us a little bit. And uh, okay, that's serviceable, not ideal. Murray gets caught up in the rough and he's barely going to make it on the green. He's going to have a tough. Recover. Oh boy, that just took off on old Tom Lewis, and he's still in the space here to work. This hole is a struggle for everybody. Here's Murray trying to roll it in for par, and he's finally going to make one. Just when you think he's down and out, Lewis uh, bogeyed. And we're going to go, we're going to go with regular old putt. Whoa, boy, why do we hit it so hard? <laughs> took the took the sledgehammer to it what the come on Ryan you gotta use your touch man you gotta use your touch alright so this was good this is uh this uh challenge is a challenge so we're not going to be wavering in this. If we fail, we fail. No biggie. Tom Lewis. That's probably a five wood again. He seems like he's tempted by the short. <clears throat> Fairway wood type thing. And um, into the wind, I think we're going to I think we're just going to go ahead and go driver. We want to be a little left of center in the fairway because of where the pin is. It gives us an angle if we get there. 
but we're missing too far to the left, it's going to end up in the trap. So the angle's good, the line not so good. This is looking good from Lewis, trying to make up for his unforced error on hole number four. Here comes Murray. And that's really nice. That's really nice. Beautiful. Can't do it much better than that. Eh, we got a decent lie. We it's gonna spin back and it's into the wind. So we we've got to go a little stronger than than uh, yeah. We we've got to go. We definitely have to go for this 168. Let's see if we can get it there. This is looking great. Come on, bite, bite, spin back. We got some. Got to look at birdie. Great shot there. We'll take that. Here's Lewis with his birdie putt. Is he going to get there? Is he going to get there? No. Taps in for par. Slightly downhill. We're not going to go too aggressive on this. Turn. Oh. Good PC game for a rainy day. Yeah, I'm, I just I wanted to do something kind of quick and easy. Get oh, Murray is got to spend a little more time on the short putts on the practice green. I, I just wanted something quick and quick and in and out here. Uh, try to get something in this afternoon. And since I saw PGA Tour is back in session. Obviously without galleries, but I figured let's get this pro. And I saw yesterday I was creating some splash screens for my game, for my strat game, and I saw these for the corn to born, and I'm like, you know what? I need to go do that so again. I haven't played it in a while, so and I don't know. So say hello if you're in the chat. If you're not and you don't want to, that's fine too. Uh, we are currently at plus one. We had a little bit of a hiccup on hole number four, but we're going to hopefully give this one a good heave-ho for birdie. This thing, we're going we're gonna to bend this. Uh, let's see. We're going to try and bend this around the corner and use this wind to our advantage. So let's go. And that one is absolutely demolished. What do we got? 324. Nice drive. We got gonna have a maybe a five wood in there with the wind behind us. Nice second shot. It, it oh, but he gets all the way up to the top. So he's gonna have a little little uh runny one down the so, so see, we're, we're in between, let's take a look at the green. We're in on a second shelf, sort of like the middle tier. You got the one way up at the top, and then you got the front at the bottom. And what we what I think we would want to do here is land on, so you see how his rolled, he, his hit and rolled up to the top. We'd like to hit, land down here on the first level and let it just kick up. And if it gets to the top of this hill, we're looking maybe eagle if we hit in the right direction. So what do we have? 232 up the hill. So let's say it's 235. So we want it to go about 222, which is really 225 up, we'll say up the hill or well, well maybe. It might still be like 222. So we, we still need like 218. So three iron is too much. Four iron. I think we want to do five iron here. I think that will carry us right into that, right just short of the shelf. And what we want it to do then is to pop up and go up on. Let's see if this works. So a little bit right to left wind. And we don't want to overhit it. So we want to go 212 and let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Oh, it's going a little left. 
Oh, and it just catches. That was that was the right distance, just he had a bad swing at it. I need, well, this is not gonna be easy for Grace, and his whole round hasn't been easy. So you know, obviously in this case we'd rather be Lewis putting from the upper tier than trying to get up and down out of the bunker. But this isn't this shouldn't be too bad of a bunker shot as long as we don't leave it on this ridge and have it catch and go down. So, but I think I think we're okay here. Um, so a little bit below our feet, I think you can I think you can adjust your aim a little bit here with this shot. I want to aim it just a little to the left because of the stance. And it comes up a little short, but we'll have a putt for birdie. Down the hill, this thing, if it doesn't hit the hole, it could go off the front. Look out, look out, slow down. Okay, it's, it's, uh, friction is your friend sometime. Okay, we've got a level putt. I think we got to go aggressive. We got to try and make this. We're going to show grace in the line. Oh, and he still misses it. Come on, dude. Don't do that. And look at that. He learned from us. He gets the birdie. We get the turdy. Oh, Lewis. So we're not alone, at least. Come on, Ryan. I guess I was talking bad about uh, Grayson's putting, and it's deciding to uh, give me my just desserts. We're 58th place. We're still with a lot of golfers left to get out on the course. Justin Thomas, Hendrick Stenson leading at minus seven, and then there are three ahead of Dylan Fratelli, Hideki Matsuyama, and one other guy I didn't get a chance to look at because he took it off too quickly. Mm. No, just kidding. All right. Lewis now. Stinks when you play a hole just the way you, you put it all in there and then your swing mechanics let you down. You know, and that's, that's golf. I mean, what better way to simulate golf than to actually have it be like the game itself? That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we don't want to overhit this. But we are going to use the driver, and uh, let's just hope he doesn't decide to miss it left again. Well, the crowd likes it, so I like it. Right next to the uh, sprinkler head, so. Taking an aggressive line, and he's going to pay off. That is right by the pin. Lewis had one blip and other than that he has played really well so this is another one of these two tiered greens and grayson's going to come up short of it but man tom lewis is making me jealous right now never heard of him but all right so we got an uphill well actually it's downhill from the fairway the the green is two tiered and we got to get up to the back side of it but we're generally speaking losing some yardage here on the shot. So we're going to guess it's about a 154, but we have 12 mile an hour. So let's say it's about 165 we need. And that's what they have us dialed in for. So that's good. I think we really, I mean, if we come up short, it's not the end of the world. We, I don't think we want to be long. I think that's a recipe for disaster. Right would be not so great either, but let's, let's aim a little left of the pin in case we miss it a little right. Get up there. Get up there. Ah, that was so close. Pretty good. I mean, we, we should still have a run at birdie here. Murray drains it. He likes the long putts, I guess. Let's see, chip. If we chip, we want to go pitching wedge. Is it downhill? It's uphill. I think we can chip this okay. Yeah. Not much of a run at it, but 
Lewis Birdies, man. I want what he's got. <laughs> All right, we're through seven. We're at one over. Not ideal. One bogey, and we couldn't take advantage of the par five, so that's the hand we're dealt. Can't remember if there was a par three yet. Probably was, I just don't remember it. Okay, Murray with a good shot. Lewis now. A little left, not too bad. It's going to be, is he going to stay on the green? Fringe? Fairway. Okay, we are left to right, probably a two or three mile an hour behind component to that. Again, back shelf. So, and it's uphill, so we're really going 189, 190. It's so 187 with a little wind probably is okay. Let's aim to the right of the pin and let the wind bring it back some. Bite, bite. Nope, too long. Wind, that was much more than a... It carried 190. What did our club say? Club was... One... Was it 172? I don't know. That's weird. Seems like it overhit. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the lob out of the bunker. Into the wind a little bit. Left to right. Let's aim a little left. And into the wind. So let's let it. There we go. Get up there. Get under the fringe. Uh, just hung up. That's going to be tester. Well, that's about the definition of a lag there. Here's Murray. He's on fire with the putter. Wish we could get there. Let's uh, let's go with the regular old putt. Get in there. Okay. No casualty. Sand save. We'll take it. Not making any progress, but haven't haven't done any meltdowns here yet as far as ugly scores. Okay, another par five here. This one a very long par five. Okay, he's in the rough. This is probably a three-shot hole regardless, so um, let me see. Can I? Let's take a look at the scorecard. Did we? Okay, we had a par three on number three. So, we, yes, yeah, so we've, we've got... Okay, so it is a 72. I thought it was a... I thought it was a 70, but maybe that's just in the U.S. Open. <coughs> All right, so a little bit of, and, and especially into this headwind, there's no way that you can really think about going and hitting it on in two. Let's see if we can find the fairway. No, nah, it's going to be a little right. doesn't come around. Misses just a little right. This hole it shouldn't hurt us too much being in the rough because we had to lay up anyway. See where everybody lands their second shot. That real light colored area. Now we got a good lie. I would say if this is where everybody wants to lay up, then I think that's where we probably should. Um, into the wind. 120, 150. So 141 would probably be. So 175. Let's 
185 because of the wind. See if we can end up. I want to be a little left of center, maybe, if we can get that. We're not going to be beggars, though. We want to be a little longer than the lightened area. What do we have left? 138. I think we can make that work. Just, I want to try and get a full club. I don't want to be in between clubs and there's a gap between pitching and 56 degree. Okay, so we've got 138 into the wind, but downhill. So downhill 135, we'll say 145. We have a shelf. I'm going to take it in high and no lie issues. So let's just go ahead and see what happens here. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Let's see this again. Bang! Almost hold out for Eagle. That would have been sweet. But that should be a tap in for Birdie. And uh, that was that was fun. It's excellent when a plan comes together. Till he misses the putt. <laughs> All right. Well. Finally, I've gotten one up on these guys, I think. Here comes Murray with the putt. He's been nailing everything, and he's going to put another one in. What the? He was leaking oil there for a while. All right, let's tap it in. Hooray. I might not be able to finish this. I think my wife's going out to start grilling some hamburgers or something. I don't know. Maybe she's turning it on, but still, it's kind of a it's kind of a uh, indication, audible indication that uh, this is going to be tough to finish up here in one sitting. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um. Of course, Grayson had to show me up with his putting. What a show off! All right, so let's let's try and speed this up a little a little bit here. Uh, 194 into the wind. That's that's about 180 uh, or 294. That's about 280 something. That's 100 yards. Um, let's see, that's that's not great right there. Uh, let's. Dial it back a little bit. What happens if we go to 245, 150? I, I like that better. Let's uh, go ahead and take our five wood. Can we put it in the fairway. We do. Okay, good. Again, this deal where we want to try and come up with a manageable second shot, good yardage that doesn't cause half clubs or whatever. Lewis, hit the like if you don't mind. I don't ask for that usually in the midst of a game, but since we're just sitting here watching Lewis hit into the wind, 140, that makes it 150, let's say, uphill. So 152, let's say 150 is probably okay. Let's play the knockdown so we get a little more distance out of it. And let's see how it works. Get up. Get up. Kick on. Okay, good. See if we can make a putt here. It's, we're due one, I think. Get back to one. Get to one under par would be nice. He's going to hit that backstop and be fine. He'll drag it back a little bit with a little bit of backspin. Here's Lewis, long birdie putt, probably just trying to get it close. He knocks it past maybe three, four feet. Murray down the hill. He's not going to make this one. Man, he was on a roll. Tap in. Now it's our turn. Let's just go with a normal putt here. Come on, Brain, make it. Get in there. Yes. Okay, birdie. 
Mike in the turn. There's Lewis with the par. Yeah. I was almost going to take them off just to save some time, but. Justin Thomas and Stenson both finished at seven. All right, so it's, we're up first, par three. Um, you got this little post stamp at the back. This is probably where the Sunday pin is, I guess, I'm guessing. We have a backstop there. Um, I'm going to say uh, about a five mile an hour four wind. So it's, we need two. No, we need uh, about 192. It's down the hill though, so really one, 187. Probably too much club here. So see, we're kind of between. Let's hit it a little higher. A little higher degree of difficulty shot. We're gonna play it a little to the left and let that wind deal with it. Come on, just be on the green. I'm gonna have to chip. That's okay. Better than him. Mason in the kitty litter. Lewis gets over it. That See, that's what I mean. You, you have that little, another little backstop. Here's the, ooh, well, it goes past and it's not going to check up. Now we got this chip, and let's. Oh, we're gonna putt it. So we're in, in the fairway, so we can putt this. Let's let's lag, so we try and get it within three. That is definitely one that we're happy with the par. Lewis, he's gonna leave himself short. Can't make it if you don't hit it there. Murray saves his par with a nice recovery. Good second. Well, good one putt there after. His bunker shot was left a little something to be desired. Going to 12. Probably get through 14 and have to kind of put a pause on this or maybe come back later probably come back later. The other thing I can do is just finish out the round and then report back to you guys at some point. Do, just do the second round because uh, that's kind of the way it's going here today. All right, we've got a little bit of a dog leg to the right. We want to keep it left, though, because of this pin. Although, I, you know, I think anywhere in the fairway is going to be fine. You're not really going to challenge that bunker too much. Let's Go with this. Just don't miss it too far to the left. Now the wind is really pushing it to the right. So now we're going to have to uh, have to earn our keep on this shot. That's where I want it to be. Grayson with a good drive. Yeah, my name is Grayson. I had a really nice drive out there on number 12. It went real far. Not like that guy Ryan. He fluffed it, left the face open, went to the right. Man, it was pretty, pretty disastrous. Okay, Tom Lewis with a professional approach. We've got a little bit of a problem here, 77 to 87% lie, not what you're looking for, especially when you need to go 179 yards. And it gets worse as we try and up, so we have to we have to take our lumps here. Try and end up somewhere on the short grass and recover. That's our goal here. 
Uh, Murray's gonna be fine. I thought he was looked like he was going left, but then the wind played its part. So what are we gonna do here? We've got to do probably a lob, 60 degree. We've got some wind pushing us, so we want to aim it a little bit to the left, a little behind. Let's give that a go. Okay, it should be beneath the hole, right? I think so. This should be an uphill putt. Lewis, it's looking good, but it's going to finish just below the hole. So we're going to have a little side hill lie, I think. A little, little bend on our uphill putt there, probably. Ticklish. Grayson, boy, he is on. Oh, man, he had the line. Okay, slightly uphill. Let's putt. Come on, make it. He does, yes. All right. That's a nice save after a bad lie out of the rough. Might be able to get one more hole in here before I have to abandon the helm here for a bit. I might just jump back on and finish out the round once I... Ooh, that is... Wow, you're coming from way over here. That's... That's almost like um, Pebble, the third hole at Pebble, coming from way up here. You got the wind in your face. It's a 280 carry. I guess we have to try and uh, do this. Uphill to the hole. Come on, find the fairway. Don't go too far to the left. Okay, that's good. That works. Don't want to make this hole any more difficult than it needs to be. This is kind of like the old church pews, you know? Usually the church pews, the one at Oakmont, are, those are a little, I guess that's fairway over there too, huh? It looks like rough, but uh, the church pews, I think at Oakmont, are right around in this area, kind of the layup spot. We don't have to worry about that here. What we want to do is, what do we have? We have two, we have 305, so I think we just want to lay up for another approach, suitable approach, and um, what were we, 151, or one, I think I'd rather go 126 in. It is uphill, so let's say 120, okay, so that's a, 187 yard shot. So let's here, not too far. Ooh, that's a little too far left. And yeah, coming out of the rough, hopefully we can. I mean, that's. Well, he's going for it. He's going to find bunker. Oh, he got over. Wow. Would he use his driver there? Three wood. 295. Grayson with the. Hello, uh, hello there, RJL, yeah, four, four or five or whatever it takes, right? Yeah, it's going to be good. He is uh, playing well. That's uh, probably wanted better from that close in. Now, we have to figure out what we're going to do here with this <clears throat> approach. A little bit into the wind. That's a little high for what we want to do here. Go to lob, we're too short. So I think we got to go to the high and hope that we just have a poor enough lie that it hurts us a little bit. And let's aim a little to the left because our stance. Oh, you know what? Also, the uphill lie is helping us. So let's go back to normal because that's going to take a little bit off of it. So let's, and plus the lie itself. So let's see what we do here. Come on. Get close. That'll be a good birdie putt for us. We'll take that. Didn't come as far to the right as I'd hoped, but the wind was also working against. It's been imparted by the slope. OK. 
Okay. It's a level putt. Do I want to go aggressive here? I think we just want to regular putt it again. Come on. Find the hole. No. Oh, good. Good run. Just trying to be one or two under par here after the first round. That'd be great. Yeah, I mean, architectures are definitely interesting. Um, it's... Something that I think gets overlooked because, uh, I mean, the sport is, you know, a rich man's sport. So, but yeah, you know, being able to design a course that causes a player to take various strategies into account um, to try and tempt or not tempt, test all types of golfers. You know, you want something that's going to. And, and I mean, in today's, um, today's world, the thing is you have to create probably four different, maybe even five different tee boxes, which, which is, is both good and bad because, um, what's, what's good strategy for one tee box becomes probably worthless for another. And so you're constantly probably, I would imagine trying to handle all sorts of different situations. So let's see if, ooh, no, 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 no. Come on, kick off, is that a hill? Oh, it's a hazard. Pick the fine time to hit it to the left. We'll drop the ball behind the hazard. There's his tendency to miss left. Well, my lie is not too bad. What do we got? Downhill. But it's it's the last bits up. Um, see, that's going to be too much club. I think we got the pitching wedge at one forty nine. I think that 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 itself might be a little long too. Let's. I'm going to cut it back to ninety five. I really want to land it just over this bunker and let it do its thing. So let's actually, we have to aim it at the bunker because of the wind. Get up, get up. Okay, that's so now we're putting for par from there. Yeah, I guess that'll be all right for him. I'll tell you, we, if we could save a par after missing the drive, but I haven't seen... I haven't I haven't really made a good putt here yet today. So, you know, I'd like to make a birdie, but I'd rather make this par and then have a chance to maybe give us... We're going to be up... We're going to go aggressive because we are uphill... Come on, not this time. He's he hasn't made anything outside of three feet. That's gonna go down the hill, maybe. He's gonna go down the hill. Look out. Oh, he's gonna stop just short. Okay, here comes his back putt for par. He's been making putts. This is that one. All right. Pull it out. Okay, take your bogey, take your lumps. You're going to have bad holes. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to bring this to a close. I'll finish out the last four holes in a short little jump in here at some point. So, I don't know, maybe I'll get one more hole here in. Maybe I'll be able to get one more in. Here's Murray. Okay, he's gonna be under the trees. All right, 462, so a long hole here, but we do have the wind with us. After all those good drives, just one lets him down. 
Let's go with a three wood. That's two. We're gonna go two ninety. That's one hundred and sixty. I, I like that better. I want to have a full shot. I don't want to get in, in between, especially if I hit a little farther than. Stay in the fairway. Stay in the fairway. Okay, and that's a good approach angle. Good approach angle. It's downhill, 150. We're going to have to figure 150 for the yardage. Even lie. I'm hoping we don't have a problem with these trees. I don't think we do. Got a little wind there to could be a problem. Okay, come on, wind, help it. Help it a little. It's still short, but better than the bunker. Wow, somehow Murray gets through all that. He's going to hit that little... Uh, he doesn't hang up on it. He would have loved that, have it roll back down to that tier, but instead, a little too much... Uh, a little too much rough between the club and the ball and the same well Lewis wasn't in the rough but he just too far up the hill now they've got a plan for this Murray that's a nice putt he's had he's been online most of the time after those first couple of holes he had some real doozies Lewis is going to end up a little left and now let's see. We need to let's make this putt. Come on, come on, Ryan. Make a putt. Make a putt. Come on, yeah, birdie. Get that stroke right back. We have three holes left. Keep going as long as I can. So we're in 42nd place. This is a par three, so this will take. This will be short. Then we have two holes after that. I might have. To, that might be where I have to break it off. Let's see. Okay, so we got the birdie. That's good. That means we have the honor. Um, Ten miles an hour, and then probably three or four yards down. So let's say it's a five-yard difference. 217. That's a 220 club. Now we do have the. Do have the. Ridge behind us. Let's let's go with um, let's go with a little higher trajectory for this five iron. Let's plan for him to miss a little too. Let's go. Let's let's plan right at the pin. Let's go right for it. He's missing left. I should have planned for that. Find the finger. Okay, that's fine. That that wind killed it. I guess because we went with a high approach, it really knocked it down. For Lewis. I think I I think I messed up my thinking. I'm getting a little fast. Oh, that might be out of bounds. Nope, he's okay. He's got a fun chip. Not bad. We have we have a little bit of a tough chip here too. We might want to go. Yeah, I think we got to go with a little bit of a lobber here. What happens if we go with the flop? This is the highest difficulty, but oh boy, he gives a little too much. We're gonna have a tough putt back. Need to make it downhill. We go with the straight putt. Come on, make your make another one. Make another one. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're back to even. Oh well, I I flubbed up my strategy. Wow, Murray saves par from the jungle. I mean, we're 60th. It's 
could be could be a lot worse, but we were, we've made our share of birdies, but the mess ups are the things that are killing us right now. So. Oh, yeah, he's going to be okay. It's going to be a tough approach, though. If he wants to tar target the pin, that's got to be... He's got to go right over the bunker. So, what we would rather be is to the right a little bit. And how long is, is that? That's 265. Now, yeah, should be good. I, I mean, we're still going to... We're going to have to contend with the bunker a little bit. Let's hope that we have a good yardage here to approach. He's going to end up short, going to end up on the frontier. That's not the worst place in the world. Here's Murray going over the bunker, and he doesn't. Doesn't make it. Now it's our turn from, what do we have, 100, 100 yards with the wind, oh, we're gonna have to go with a 90 yard shot, and I think we gotta take a little bit of the bunker out of the equation. Could very well end up on the first tier. Could very well end up in the bunker. Let's aim a little to the right. Come on, baby, get up, 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 get up. Oh, what a shot. Oh, how much is this game? Um, is it 40? I forget. Um, you, you have to buy, well, the, the, the current season comes with the set. Uh, usually they run some, like a deal every, you know, you can get a set here or there, you know, for lower price, but slightly right to left. Let's just put it. Come on. Yes. So I think it's 40, Aaron. <laughs> Grayson. <laughs> he has one of those little flubs every once in a while. All right, I think we're going to get this whole round in here, so that's good. Um, But... Uh, yes, everything would come loaded into it. Now, it, you get a certain number of, um, you get, if you buy the course pack, or actually, I think the course pack comes with it. It's got like uh, 24 courses. And so that kind of gets you started. But then there's some that you're going to want to probably buy over time. So you just keep planning for that. Come on, buddy. It's going a little right, but not too bad. Come on, let's finish this up. Of course, we got this pond here on 18. Might want to make this a three-shot hole anyway. <laughs> Murray. His first couple holes and his last couple holes seem to be his Achilles heel. Okay, good layup from Lewis. Now we got Murray. trap all right now we got to make a decision here we're one under par do we want to challenge us and see if we can get a birdie what do we have 98 percent we're 211 level lie i think i think we have to go for it here um it's downhill 201 let's let's give it a whirl Come on, hop up there, hop up there. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, stay up, stay up. Oh no. <coughs> that was so close to being a brilliant shot. Just another couple feet and it's gonna stay up there and be. Okay. 
All right, we got to finish this up. Here's Murray. Come on, buddy. Get it. Put it close. I don't care. That's good. Just want to finish up mine, and then I can sign off here for you. All right, let's putt. We want the birdie. Let's get... Is that tap in? No. So let's see if we can make our birdie, and then i got to sign off really quickly. So... Come on, birdie. Yes. Okay, two under par. That's a good score. All right, everybody. So we're two under. That's a pretty good place to be right now. Um, what are we at? Tied for 27th. I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching this. We'll see you soon with another, with another uh, edition of the Corn to Born San Diego Open. We'll get the second round in soon. See you then.